Hello everybody, welcome back to Jersh Reacts. In today's video, we're gonna react to Melanie Martinez, Dead to Me. Uh, there's been a couple extra standalone tracks that a lot of people in the comment section asked me to check out before I move on to K through 12. And since I still have not decided how I'm gonna handle K through 12, I thought, let's get through some of these individual tracks that people are wanting to see me react to before I start that. Uh, if you like what you see on my channel, make sure you like and subscribe. If you want to support me further to keep the channel around long term, I have links in this video description for my Patreon, my Twitch Prime, and uh, my merch store as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I have the official audio pulled up. I did not see a music video for this one, and I have the lyrics ready to go. So let's go. My condolences. I'll shed a tear with your family. Open a bottle up Pour a little bit out in your memory I'll be at the wake dressed in all black I'll call out your name as you won't call back I'll end the flower I chose the right shirt for this song When I say goodbye Cause baby you're dead to me I need to kill you Taking it in, I'll share some thoughts in a second. Of course, I'm partial to the guitar. I loved the uh, guitar opening. And what I really liked about it is that there was some intentionally uh, mispicked uh, notes where it was like they were the person playing, whether it was her or somebody else, was like so distraught and sad that they weren't even playing the guitar correctly. They were just too busy being emotional. So I thought that that worked to good effect. Usually you want, you want the guitar to, and the music in general to sound clean and uh, professional and produced. And in that case, it was like somebody just like, sitting on a back porch, staring out at the sky, like, you know, under a um, clouded moon, just playing guitar, feeling sad for themselves and messing up some of the notes, but not caring because they were getting their emotions out through song. That's kind of what I got from that opening. And then the more traditional um, kind of synth uh, Melanie sound came in and did like an, a, a pop version of the guitar, which was really cool too. My condolences, I'll shed a tear with your family. I'll open a bottle up, pour a little bit out in your memory. I'll be at the wake dressed in all black. I'll call out your name, but you won't call back. I'll hand a flower to your mother when I say goodbye, because baby, you're dead to me. I need to kill you. That's the only way to get you out of my head. I need to kill you to silence all the sweet little things you said. I really want to kill you, wipe you off the face of my earth, my earth. Uh, and bury your bracelet, bury your bracelet six feet under the dirt. Rainy days and black umbrellas, who's going to save you now? Can you cheat from underground? So yeah, so she's really, she's so mad at this person that um, whether they are alive and dead to the, you know, earth in totality or to the greater human species, to me, you are dead because you cheated on me. So piss off, goodbye. That's kind of what she's saying um, to me. And then the chorus again. And it does not look like there's a ton here lyrically beyond that. So maybe we're going to get a chorus repeated. I'm not sure. We're still going to go ahead and finish it out. And I think Yoshi's going to join me. Apologetic one, but it 
We'll finish it out and then I'll talk about that last verse. It definitely fits in with the other melody songs that I've heard where it's, um, you know, dark, sad, angry, upset about bullshit relationship stuff. Um, here's the other verse. I need to say sorry. That's the only thing you say when you lose someone. I used to say I'm sorry for all the stupid shit you've done. So now I'm really sorry for being the apologetic one, but if I told you I care, if I told you I care, you would think I was crazy. How many of you have been in an argument where the person is arguing not to resolve, but to argue to be right? And then you, at the end of the day, even if you believe that you're right and the other person was in the wrong, but because they uh, wear you down, you end up apologizing, even though you weren't the one that did something wrong. And uh, that's the only way to ever get an argument to end because they never see the error of their ways. Anybody have any experience with that? Um, yeah, I'm sorry I ever apo I'm sorry for being the apologetic one is interesting because she's still apologizing um, <clears throat> when maybe she shouldn't be. Uh, yeah, my condolences and then again. So yeah, so it's just uh, yeah, and sometimes that's what it takes like, you know, maybe you have some exes or some people that you dated or had a semi-serious relationship with where you realized that there was no long-term potential, there was no mutual romantic interest, and maybe you're able to maintain a friendship and find value uh, in knowing that person and keeping them in your life for various reasons. Um, but sometimes if there was, if it was an intense relationship or a serious relationship and you realize that it's not going to work out, that it's not, it's for the best that you don't know each other because it's more bad than good when you're around each other. Sometimes they have to be dead to you and you have to move on and you don't have to wish them bad or wish the worst on them. You just need to wish the best for yourself, which is to be away from them. So, um, yeah. Uh, I, so this says the Dollhouse EP. I don't know if this was supposed to be in a particular story order for the rest of the Crybaby stuff or if this is a more of a bonus EP. You all have told me that these singles that I've been reacting to in between the lead up to K-12 through are not tied to the Crybaby story, but I'm still curious where they were released at. Maybe I'll look it up and see which album they were a part of or if there was like a, a short four or five track EP that was released. I'm not sure. Um, it says this song came out in like 2014. Um, I would assume by then we were already mostly digital and this was not really focused on a physical release of any kind. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, yeah, lyrically it was, uh, it got the message home and, and again was smart and catchy. I liked the melody of it and I really liked, I almost wish the whole song was that broken guitar because I really, at the beginning of the song, I was like feeling really sad. <laughs> For her because I just pictured this broken person playing a broken guitar with broken notes because they're so emotional they can't even play the song that they know so well and uh, they're such an emotional wreck that they can't play it and then to have it come in and get the studio produced synth full-on pop music sound and then with that melody it like brought me back that it was a song and not like a real private moment like if the whole song was how it started I could have literally believed that like Melanie Martinez herself just like sat down in a room with a guitar and like in one take recorded this song as she felt this emotion and like that was the song. Um, but uh, even as it stands as it is, it's still uh, a good song in my opinion and I like the, uh, yeah, I don't know, I like the dark, the dark side. 
Uh, anyway, yeah, another good song. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Comment down below if you have any response to the type of argument that I mentioned, or if you have uh, any other meaning for what this song means to you, as well as any other requests for reactions on my channel. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.